Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to get set up with VoiceThread in your course. The overall strategy I'm going to show you is designed to make sure that you and your students have the easiest access to VoiceThread and all its resources and tools. I'm going to refrain from elaborating as much as possible in order to keep this video short so that you can use it to get your Moodle course site set up and integrated with VoiceThread as quickly and easily as possible. So let's go to Moodle because that's where it all starts. In order for you and your students to gain access to VoiceThread for the first time, you, the instructor, need to create a link to a VoiceThread activity in your Moodle course site. Once that link is in place, a VoiceThread account is automatically created for anyone in your course who clicks it. Right now I'm going to show you how to create a link that leads to the VoiceThread homepage. The homepage provides direct access to personal VoiceThreads, course VoiceThreads, and the space for creating VoiceThreads. In other words, it's a great comprehensive starting place. I'll walk you through the steps one at a time so that you'll be able to pause and restart the video to complete the entire task yourself if you wish. To start, there are two steps in adding a VoiceThread activity or resource in Moodle. First, we create and save the link. Second, we click on and choose what we want to do with the link. Best not to think too hard about it and just try to follow the steps the best you can. So now we're going to create the link. First, we got to turn editing on. So that's when the party starts. I suggest adding this link in the top section. So I'm going to click Add an Activity or Resource. Scroll down and select VoiceThread. Click Add. I like to start by clicking Expand All so we can see all the options. And I suggest calling this Voice thread home. The only thing I'm going to change down here is the grading area. I'm going to change the type from points to none. Then scroll down to the bottom and select save and return to course. We just finished the first step, which is creating and saving the link. Now is the second step which is to click on the link so that we can configure it and tell it what to do. So I'm going to click on it, and now we're going to tell it what to do in future times when the link gets clicked on. Click VT Home. That's it. Success, return to course. Since this opened up a second tab of the same site, go ahead and just close it, and you're done. Now, we can just confirm what it's done by going and clicking on the link, and it's going to bring us to the VoiceThread homepage.